Prime Minister's review meeting on cyclone preparedness. Prime Minister Modi says has ta uh, taken every possible measure to ensure evacuation of people living in vulnerable locations, ensure maintenance of essential services with preparedness for immediate restoration or in event of damage. This is the inside detail coming in from the Prime Minister's review meeting on cyclone preparedness. Uh, he has mentioned take every possible measure to ensure evacuation of people living in vulnerable locations, ensure the maintenance of essential services with preparedness for immediate restoration in case of damage. Uh, Dave Potak is with us. Uh, Dave, uh, we're getting the Prime Minister's um, review meeting, the inside details at this point. Uh, he has said that uh, evacuation is essential for people who are living in vulnerable locations. So how does the situation look like, like in Mumbai? There are lots of vulnerable patches in Mumbai as well along the coastline. Well, Mumbai has not been put on high alert, but there's definitely a yellow alert in Mumbai and Thane that has been issued. I am currently at the Gateway of India, and if you can see the visuals, uh, generally the water does not come up this high uh, because of the very severe cyclonic storms, storm-like situation. Uh, however, right now the storm has moved into the Gujarat territory, and between 15th and 16th June, uh, the Gujarat to Pakistan route travelling will actually happen. But however, you can see the visuals. This is definitely scary. This very promenade gateway of India out here is a popular tourist stretch owing to a vacation time but the Mumbai police is not really allowing anybody to even walk on this promenade and in fact walk on to the opposite side because you can really gauge looking at the intensity and how uh, hard the waters are raging on uh, mist continues to fly literally across uh, to the other side of the road so you can really sort of get an idea in terms of what the intensity and damage uh, could uh, possibly be like which is why Mumbai police also patrolling out here uh, is not allowing anybody and is strictly advising them to walk away in fact Mumbai police barricades have also been uh, placed and as you can see that these tourists who have come to visit the area uh, from how uh, how much of a distance uh, really they are uh, clicking pictures uh, they're forced to do this and they can't go anywhere closer to the sea owing to the obvious uh, danger and the advisory that has been issued apart from that uh, the fishermen you just saw that entire wave that really came out so you can get a sense in terms of in terms of what is really happening however the monsoons haven't even begun as yet they're about a week and a half or two away and this is the situation currently so you can imagine what really happens uh, when the peak monsoons hit and either an orange or a red alert is uh, issued and of course uh, adjoining uh, parallelly is the arabian sea uh, so no risks are being uh, taken whatsoever the beaches have sort of been semi shut off not entirely uh, uh, because of the kind of potential damage that it can bring in yeah. fact in certain parts in Vasai the railway track lines were also damaged in other areas of Maharashtra near the beaches. Okay, so this is a big uh, one. This, the, uh, I, can, I, I can really actually see the tide uh, coming all over you so let's just stay with these visuals. Uh, uh, just, just show us the high tide in Mumbai. I mean it's very dangerous to stand right close to the coastline as well so be careful. Uh, well, yes, I, uh, for a minute I just got drenched, but I'm going to continue to show you the visuals uh, of the high tide and uh, uh, how much of an alert that has been issued. Uh, this is exactly the reason why uh, people are not being allowed to go anywhere close to the sea. And this is something we don't uh, normally witness uh, in the pre-monsoon showers. But of course, uh, this is like I mentioned earlier, that it is a very severe uh, cyclone storm-like situation and advisories have been issued by IMD. Uh, you can imagine uh, what it must be like right now. The cyclone is uh, 500 to 600 uh, kilometers away into the Arabian Sea, yet on the periphery and the edges of the areas surrounding Mumbai, especially the areas where there are water bodies close by, be it your marine drive, Whirly Sea Face or the Gateway of India, where uh, we are currently uh, reporting live from. Uh, so uh, yeah. you can really gauge. And if you see uh, these waves, uh, they're anything but going to die down because they continue to rage on 
and between 15th and 16th is where mm. uh, the maximum landing is going to happen but that's not going to be in mumbai it's going to be in gujarat first and uh, travelling from there it is going to go up towards uh, pakistan and, uh, and not just that the tourists who go to visit these uh, uh, sea promenades also need to be very careful because the tide is quite high as I can see right at the gateway of India behind you. Uh, we'll continue tracking these developments. Thank you so much, Dave, uh, for joining us with the very latest details on this.